Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an update to my DDD deck profile for January 2017. Uh, with the release of the deck Pendulum Domination, a lot of you requested that I do an update to this deck. It got all the support it needed with the latest structure deck, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for monsters, I run three DD Salvan Kepler, uh, probably one of the best monsters in the deck, just because it has the effect to add a dark contract from your deck to your hand when it's normal or special summoned, or to target one other DD card you control and return it to the hand. So you can reuse DDD card effects, or even search out cards like Dark Contract with the Gate or Contract with the Swamp King. Uh, all very usable, and he's also able to be uh, gotten back from the Pendulum Zone using DD Salvan Thomas. So he's very very viable in this deck and used for a lot of the combos. And I also run three DD Swirl Slime. This card is needed for your fusion summons. You can send him and another uh, DDD uh, monster from your hand to the graveyard to fusion summon a DDD monster from your extra deck. And you can also banish him from your graveyard to special summon one DD monster from your hand. You can only use each effect of DD Swirl Slime once per turn. So along with easy fusion summoning, not even needing Swamp uh, King Contract, and just having another one in the hand, it's uh, easy first turn or second turn uh, fusion summon. And he also works great in the graveyard because the banish effect allows you to get out your big DD monsters that you have in your hand. And I'll run three DD Necro Slime. His effect is, if this card is in your graveyard, you can fusion summon one DDD fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials from your graveyard, including this card. You can only use the effect once per turn. So if you ditch this card with Swirl Slime, uh, you'll get the fusion summon for the Swirl, and then by banishing these two from the graveyard, you'll have two fusions just with two cards, which I think is incredible. It's an easy fusion manipulation just using these two cards. Two cards for two bigger cards. Uh, that's probably as you know broke as you can get with this deck, which is why I do run Swirl Slime and Necro Slime at three. I also run three DD Lamia. We finally got tuners for the DD deck, and Lamia is incredibly good. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you could send one DD or Dark Contract from your hand or face up from the field to the graveyard. Except Lamia to special summon this card from the graveyard, uh, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use the effect once per turn. So it's an easy get back, and the fact that you can bounce a contract means that you won't take the 1000k burn next turn for in turn getting a level 1 tuner to the field, which you can use for your synchro summons. I also run three, King Ragnarok, your big monster of the deck. He has uh, easy special summon power from the graveyard and a tribute effect to banish monsters your opponent controls. And he's also great for rank uh, eight Xyz plays because you can get two of him out or two Thomas out very easily and overlay them for plays. Uh, an overall great card. His stats are 22 attack and 3k defense. I mean, you can also just sit on him with the pendulum summon and it'll be difficult for your opponent to get over it. And I run three DD Savant Copernicus, a new card from the structure deck. Uh, basically, you can negate the activation of the spell card that would inflict damage to you and destroy this card when it's in the pendulum scale. It's a scale one pendulum, so very good. He contrasts um, Kepler, which is a scale 10, very well, easily. And when it's normal or special summon, you can send one DD or a dark contract from your deck to the graveyard, except for Copernicus. You can only use this effect once per turn. So get stuff you need in the graveyard also to match with your fusion summons for Necro Slime or even other special summon plays like King Ragnarok with this card. And I run two DD Savant Thomas. Uh, during your main phase for the Pendulum effect, you can add one face up DD. Uh, pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Thomas once per turn. So you can get back Kepler to reuse with this card. It's really cool. And its monster effect is you can target one DD card in your pendulum zone, destroy that card. If you do special summon one level six, um, no, it's my bad, one level eight. I must read it wrong. DD monster from your deck in defense position for the rest of the turn. And any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half. So it's easy for exceed plays with this card. Uh, I'm mixing back and forth between Copernicus and Thomas. I might, you know, switch Thomas to three and Copernicus to two just because it's the once per turn set effect. While uh, Thomas has a much better effect both on field and in the pendulum scale. And also two DD Savant Newton, another one of the new ones. It has a send effect from the graveyard from the hand to get another DD or dark contract from your graveyard back to your hand. And his pendulum scale effect allows you to negate trap cards that would inflict battle damage to you. And another high scale that you can use with Copernicus for easy pendulum summons. And unlike Kepler, they don't have the reduction effect also that the other DDD pendulum scales had. 
And I run one Leonidas. He's cool for the burn damage that you would normally take from your contracts. He stops that. If you don't have to arc out on the field, you can use Leonidas for that uh, sense. And also, finally, we have King Armageddon, which I also run one of. He can't be destroyed by cards that don't target this card. So if your opponent Torrentials or Bottomless, it won't affect him. And he's a 3k beater on his own, which is really cool. And also a power booster uh, kind of card as well. Just one, though. He's easy to search out, so you don't need to really make use of three. Three is dead draw, even two, in my opinion. And one, King Apocalypse from the new trial deck. He is basically for those tight situations where you need an easy special summon by banishing effects or negation effects. You can get him out on the field quite easily, and he's a level 7 as well, which meaning if you use him with Lamia, you can get out your Siegfried uh, Synchro Monster. And that's it for monsters. We'll move on to spells. I run three Dark Contract with the Gate. It's the search once per turn card for a DD monster from your deck. And each standby phase of yours, you take 1,000 points of damage. But it's worth it because each turn you'll get a search, meaning this card's a continuous search. You have to run three. It's just too good. And the fact that it's searchable with Kepler is even more amazing. And two... Dark Contract with the Swamp King. It's the fusion play when you don't have Swirl Slime and Necro Slime. Easily make use of this just by having uh, your fusion materials in your hand or field to fusion summon. And it's another thousand point burn, but there are many ways to avoid this with this deck. And three, Allure of Darkness, just because um, all the main deck DDD monsters are dark, so there's no way this card will never successfully go off, and since you are also running majority monsters. And two, where art thou? This card's great. If you have Lamia on the field from a special summon, you can search out Kepler, activate Kepler by normaling it, get the search, and you won't take the burn from their where art thou. And one, one for one. If you open up a monster one for one and where art thou, that's incredible search play. You'll get Kepler, Dark Contract. You'll have incredible pluses just with these two card combos. And one foolish burial to finish off the spell card, just so you can get more DDD monster graveyard effects going. And for traps, I just run three Dark Contract with the Gate, with, not with the Gate, with the Witch. Uh, it's a destruction effect and a monster boost effect during your opponent's turn. I would, If you wanted to run Vanities, I'd probably say take out one of this and put Vanities in. If you wanted to run the Strike, you could do the same there. But I do like keeping this card at two. The pop effect is really nice since it goes off at your opponent's turn. And it's a continuous one as well. And now for the extra deck, I have one DDD Flame Genghis. He's a special summon effect and a contract add back effect. I might bump him up to two. I like him at one. I only ever see him mostly come out at one with my decks. But like I said, he's still that good special summon combo play. And two, King to Arc. He allows any inflicted damage you would get, you gain the life instead. So with your contracts, if you have three on the field, you'll gain 3,000 points um, each turn with this guy. It's really great. And two, King Beowulf. He's the new one from the deck. He has basically um, in the ability to give all your DD monsters piercing, and during each of your standby phase, destroy all spell and traps in the spell and trap card zone. Being 3k power and having this effect is incredible. It's a great card. Very easy. You just need a DDD monster and one DDD monster also to make it. So, very good. And for the fusions, I lastly run one King Caesar Ragnarok. He is a powerhouse at 3200 and the ability to return a contract from your field to take one of your opponent's monsters, equip it to this card, and he gains that attack. So powerhouse hungry as well with this unit. For Synchros, I run two of the new King Siegfried. He has a life point gain when he is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. And he also has a target face up spell or trap on the field and negate it. Uh, for that turn. So he's also pretty good stat wise, very easy to synchro summon with Lamia also with your level sevens you run in the deck. And one King Alexander, great that we could finally make this guy. He's a level seven special summon effect as well uh, for level four lower DDD monsters. So he'll just keep the plays going. If you have him out and Genghis, that's easy special summon power whenever you special summon a DDD. And one Kali Yuga, it has an effect negation effect for the field and also destroys all spell and traps. So he's a heavy hitter at 35k and he'll take care of problems like that. And I also run one Heretic Son of Heliopolis. If you have number 38 or Felgrand, you can run this instead. I just don't have any of those at the moment to sub in. Uh, one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, just so you get special cards from your Pendulum Zone with this guy. One Crystal Wing, really broke with this deck. Um, you can make him with Alexander and Lamia. So, great card to get out of the field and make use of. 
one Stardust Spark Dragon, just for more effect negation. And I also run one Ghost Trick Dalahan, just for your rank one plays. We don't have the new Sylvan card yet, otherwise I would run that, because it's really good in the deck. But yeah, that's it for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Kira Twig out.